This message is a broadcast of the emergency alert system. This is not a test. Important information will soon follow. The following message is broadcast at the request of the Teton County Office of Emergency Management. A fire warning has been issued for the following cities and townships, Moose, Morin, Coulter Bay, and Kelly. Uncontrolled wildfires in Grand Teton National Park are approaching residential areas, posing a risk to property and human life. At this time, it is recommended that all residents evacuate the area surrounding Grand Teton National Park immediately. All persons receiving this message should travel west along Route 26 and report to the City of Jackson until the all-clear is given. Take only one luggage item per person and use as few vehicles as possible to evacuate. Stay tuned to local news outlets to receive information as it becomes available. Please remain calm. Your cooperation is appreciated. Believed to have been started by an improperly extinguished campfire. The Teton Fire, as it's come to be known, is in the final stages of containment according to the Wyoming Department of Fire Prevention and Electrical Safety, with firefighters being aided by seasonal snow and rainfall in the area. Chief among their efforts was the deployment of aerial firefighting techniques, which use specially designed aircraft known as air tankers to drop water and fire retardant onto uncontrolled blazes. In addition to being filled before takeoff, some air tankers can even skim water from natural reservoirs such as lakes and rivers without landing, before returning to drop it over the fires. This leads, I'm sure, to some very confused fish. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to a quick commercial break now. Stay tuned to WBRD, giving you the bird since March 2020. Mixed severity system due to predominance of fir and spruce trees. There was already snow on the ground, so it looks like it spread mostly through spotting and conflagration. No wonder it jumped right over Firebreak 2. Uh, no, Firebreak 4. Whichever one was across from Jenny Lake near Storm Point. Anyway, it looks like it was mostly crown fire, so the surface isn't as ruined as it could have been. You can still find patches of green if you dig down a little under the snow. Making my way down along the west side of Jackson Lake, I figured if I'm going to see any animals, I'll find them there. I think I heard an owl earlier, but I haven't really seen much else. Saw some deer tracks, so that's a good sign. I think I found some sort of plant growing on the trees in this area. Coordinates? Um, well, I'm on the east side of the range, and I haven't made it to Lake Canyon yet, so I think, I think I'm somewhere around Mount Moran. Anyway, there's some sort of plant or fungus growing on the trees and rocks here. I've never seen it before. Looks kind of like monkey tail, but there's it's like more of a mat than a vine. I took some pictures. I'll see if I can identify it later. Uh, somewhere near the paintbrush canal. The map says paintbrush can. I assume it's canal. More of this stuff around. It's growing on everything. It's like some sort of root, maybe? I mean, you can take a stick and sort of pull it off in patches. It's not very strong. Some kind of a invasive fungus, maybe? I don't know. There's more of it as I go further south. Where the hell is it all coming from? Alright, uh, this is getting kind of spooky now. This stuff is literally everywhere. It's on the trees, on the rocks, on the ground. It's everywhere. I'm, uh, coming up on Jenny Lake now, I think. This stuff is... Oh, shit, what the hell is that? Is this stuff giving off spores or something? Something like a puffball up ahead. Just spat out a cloud of brown shit. Screw fun in the source. I'm getting the hell out of here. You gave this shit off me. Fucking. Where's the lake? Is it? Sun. Sun sets in the west, so the lake must be this way. And there, I'll just... <coughs> I'll hitch a ride back to... Fuck me. This shit is heavy.
called off the search for surveyor Dimitri Contenda after his remains were found in Jenny Lake in Grand Teton National Park. Officials have not yet released details regarding his cause of death, but say that foul play is not suspected. The state of Wyoming and the U.S. National Park Service have both extended their condolences to Contenda's wife and daughter. This message is a broadcast of the emergency alert system. This is not a test. Information vital to your safety will soon follow. This message is broadcast under the authority of the United States Environmental Protection Agency. A state of emergency has been declared for Teton County, effective immediately and until further notice. A mandatory quarantine has been ordered for your area. All businesses not immediately essential to the continued functioning of municipal services are to be closed immediately. A mandatory curfew is now in effect. All non-essential personnel receiving this message are ordered to return to your homes and remain there until further notice. Entry into or exit from Teton County is not permitted at this time. Entry into or exit from Grand Teton National Park is not permitted at this time. An unknown organism has been reported in and around the vicinity of Grand Teton National Park. The nature of this organism, and its effects on humans, is not known at this time. For your own safety, and the safety of others, remain in your homes and avoid contact with unknown plants and animals. Wear a mask to prevent the inhalation of possible contaminants in the air. If you have a gas mask that is CBRN rated, put it on and do not remove it until the all clear is given. Please remain calm. Your cooperation is appreciated. This message is a broadcast of the emergency alert system. This is an emergency update. Information vital to your safety will soon follow. This message is broadcast at the request of the United States Environmental Protection Agency. Tests of municipal and well water supplies in your area have revealed the presence of an unknown organism, even in boiled or chemically treated water. The effects of exposure to this organism is not currently known. At this time, municipal water services have been deactivated to prevent exposure to the organism. All residents receiving this message are urged to discontinue use of well water for any purpose. Drinking water is currently being distributed to residences and essential businesses throughout Teton County. Continue to wear protective face masks at all times and minimize contact with unknown plants and animals. Please remain calm. Your cooperation is appreciated. This message is a broadcast of the emergency alert system. This is not a test. Information vital to your safety will soon follow. This message is broadcast at the request of the United States Environmental Protection Agency, in conjunction with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. An infectious disease warning has been issued for the following areas, Tedon Village, Jackson, Moose, Morin, Coulter Bay, Kelly, and Wilson. An unknown organism has contaminated multiple natural and municipal water sources throughout the affected areas. Individuals exposed to this organism have been shown to develop severe symptoms in 95% of cases. At this time, continue to wear protective face masks at all times, as it is not known if the organism is capable of spreading through the air. Do not use water from municipalities, wells, or other natural reservoirs for any reason. Minimize contact with unknown plants and animals, as they may be infectious. Remain in your homes. Drinking water is being distributed to residences and essential businesses throughout the affected area. The National Guard has been deployed to ensure compliance with quarantine procedures. Please remain calm. Your cooperation is appreciated.
This message is a broadcast of the emergency alert system. This is an emergency update. Information vital to your safety will soon follow. This message is broadcast at the request of the United States Environmental Protection Agency, in conjunction with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. An unknown organism has contaminated natural and municipal water sources in your area. It has also been confirmed that active particulates of this organism are present in the air in rising concentrations throughout the affected areas. Individuals exposed to this organism have been shown to develop severe symptoms in 97% of cases. Symptoms of exposure include, but are not limited to, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, dysentery, bleeding of the digestive tract, involuntary muscle movements or spasms, coughing, shortness of breath, respiratory distress, hemoptysis, skin irritation, open, weeping, or discolored sores, and necrosis. As the disease progresses, the victim's skin and other tissues will begin to appear sinewy or thread-like. Death typically occurs from internal hemorrhaging or multiple organ failure 12 to 36 hours after symptoms develop. There is currently no treatment for this disease. Community transmission between humans is believed to be taking place in your area. At this time, all persons receiving this message are urged to wear protective face masks at all times to minimize exposure to airborne particulates. If you believe yourself or a loved one to be infected, isolate them and dial 9. 1. 1. To report it to your local authorities. A military officer will be dispatched to your location to collect all infected persons and contaminated materials. Remain in your homes at all times. Please remain calm. Your cooperation is appreciated. Cities around the world rush to put the finishing touches on their New Year's preparations. Tensions are continuing to rise in and around the city of Jackson, Wyoming, where much of the county has been placed under quarantine. This following the discovery and outbreak of a new disease in the area. The National Guard has been deployed throughout Teton County for three days now, and officials from the CDC's Epidemic Intelligence Service have been working to determine the nature and source of the outbreak. This has not gone over well with residents, though, who have had their water services shut off for almost a week and claim that the state is not living up to its promises to distribute drinking water to homes and essential businesses. Multiple protests have sprung up in Jackson and neighboring towns in clear violation of quarantine rules, chanting and holding signs saying things such as thirst for justice or fake germ fake news. So far, the protests have been mostly peaceful, but with Wyoming's governor remaining silent amid demands for action and answers, it seems unlikely that the new year will be rung in peacefully. This message is a broadcast of the emergency alert system. This is not a test. Important information will soon follow. This message is broadcast under the authority of the United States Department of Homeland Security. All outdoor gatherings in this area are ordered to disperse immediately. Some or all civil liberties have been suspended to ensure compliance with quarantine procedures. Military forces in your area have been authorized to use lethal force against civilians to ensure containment of the organism. Return to your homes. Return to your homes. Return to your This message is a broadcast of the emergency alert system. This is not a test. Information vital to your safety will soon follow.
This message is broadcast at the request of the United States Department of Homeland Security, in conjunction with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. An unknown organism in Grand Teton National Park has breached the quarantine zone and is traveling west at a speed of approximately 15 miles per hour. This organism has uprooted approximately 37 square miles of land and has an estimated mass of 65 million tons. At this time, all persons in the following areas are ordered to evacuate immediately, Tetonia, Driggs, Drummond, Warm River, Ashton, St. Anthony, Rexburg, Victor, Rigby, Reary, Heiss, Iona, Lincoln, Emmons.